Boop. Boop. Hello friends and welcome back to another video here on Strange. Today we are going to find out, at long last, after all these years, am I gay? Are you gay or straight? How gay are you? Is your girlfriend secretly gay? Oh my god. I hope not. This one is just called Emos. What Disney gal are you? Girls only, only unless you're gay. Are you gay? Period question mark. Is he into you? Girls or gay. Are you gay? Are you a true metalhead? Wait, do you think the Jonas Brothers are gay? Is your coworker gay? Do you dislike gay people? Should you? Be gay? Bi or straight? Are you a lesbian? Are you stupid? Are you really truly in love with him? Girl gay bisexual. Do you think you're gay? Are you gay? How gay are you? Are you emo goth scene poser or just gay? It's time to find out. But before we go any further, I've got to tell you a little bit about this video sponsor, Helix. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to your unique needs and shipped straight to your door. Everyone's different, which is why Helix's sleep quiz matches you to the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. If you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together to find something that's the perfect compromise for the both of you. Based on my results, Helix matched me with their Twilight Luxe mattress. This lovely mattress that you see in front of you right here, it is their firmest mattress. I prefer to sleep on a firm mattress because my spine is infested with scoliosis demons and it is very easy for me to mess up my day if I am not sleeping on the right kind of surface. I've had my Helix mattress for nearly two years now and I still absolutely love it. I've been sleeping great for this whole two years. So has my girlfriend and our two little rat cats who sleep in our bed every night. Actually, Kaushik sleeps in the bed for at least until noon most days. Absolute little man of luxury. The Helix Twilight Lux, I am happy to report, is very highly endorsed by my cat. <laughs> Helix's lineup actually includes 20 unique mattresses, including their award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections, the Helix Plus, which is a mattress designed for large and tall people, as well as, of course, Helix Kids mattresses. You can personalize your mattress even more by adding the Glaciotex cooling cover, which keeps you cool and comfortable while you sleep. If it makes you nervous to buy a mattress that you haven't tried yet, don't worry, because with Helix, you get a 100-night sleep trial. That's right, you can sleep on this baby for 100 nights before you decide if you really love it. There's also a 10 year warranty, flexible payment plans and financing options. And the best part of this all is of course that Helix delivers your mattress straight to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a compact box and then expands once you unwrap it. So it's super easy to set up yourself. Just make sure you read the instructions before you try it. Do as I say, not as I do kids. I love my Helix mattress. So if you're in the market for a new bed, go check them out. Visit helixsleep.com strangeons or scan the QR code on screen. You'll get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. We're starting off with the gay quiz from 2009. Bed and breakfasts are places my girlfriend drags me to, places I would like to own, nice foreign's intimate getaway, um, the best places ever, like serving breakfast in bed, I don't get it. I'm gonna be real, I watched that Gordon Ramsay uh, Hotel Hell series when I was having an interesting time mentally, and um, it- I would love to have the title innkeeper, I think. I think in some other life I would love to be some crazy innkeeper, so I'm gonna go with places I would like to own. Guys that have small dogs, not puppies, small dogs, <laughs> are my friends, silly, <laughs> reasonable, cute, meant to be made fun of. Um, they're my friends, sure. When you hug your male friends, you are crying. <laughs> usually naked, feel uncomfortable, have just scored a touchdown, hoping to score a touchdown. Where is the one that says I have normal friendships? <laughs> Whether you are gay depends on your gender identity. What is yours? Male. Male seeking male. <laughs> I choose to identify as me. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think that's a gender identity, but okay. There's a chance you could be, but let a professional choose. I'm only, a word we no longer say because it's not 2009, don't trust your results lol. So I might be gay. Interesting start. Let's go with, are you really lesbian? Girl? Do you like girls? Yes, I only like girls. Yeah, but I like boys just the same. No, ew, I like boys. Are you girly? Yes, I wear makeup, love hair. <laughs> I love hair and I've always have the new fashions on. I'm a girl who likes to wear boy clothes and boy clothes only. I'm girly, but I play sports. <laughs> I wear the occasional baggy pants. When you're with a girl, how do you act together? I'm the boy in the relationship. We're both girly and sexy. Boys love us together. 
Ugh. Girls don't really talk to me. They don't like climbing trees and collecting action cards like my guy friends do. I can never decide whether I want to be with her or him. What? Who is this for? Is... Are we doing like one of those role play quizzes right now? Because these are very specific, but not to my life. How are you when you're with a guy? Boys are my best friends. Boys aren't attracted to me and I'm not attracted to them. Boys think I'm sexy. And like, every time I read the word sexy, I turn into Ebony Darkness to Venture Raven White. Have we noticed this? Lesbian! <laughs> lesbian, you are a lesbian! You like girls and not boys. That's hot. Okay, I kind of want to do this one that just says emos. Oh, great start. Our emos, F slurs. Bing bong. Bing bong, are you jumping up on my desk to save me from this quiz? If you could push Osama bin Laden or an emo off a cliff, who would it be? Um, sure, I'll push Osama bin Laden off the cliff. Oh, this quiz is so incredibly 2009. Do you hate emos? No way. Yes, they're so gay. Dude, what's so bad about emos? No, I love emos. You're a stupid emo. No, I'm not. I'm not stupid. Well, you might not be talking to me because I'm not an emo. I don't really like them. Well, that's not very nice. You ever call me emo again and I'll kill you. <laughs> um, that's not very nice. Emos are gay. Come on, just admit it, dude. They're so gay. Ugh. Well, that was an interesting one. That was an interesting relic of our past as a society. Are you gay, straight, or bi? Girls only. What do you think you are? Um... Straight, obviously. Uh, when you were younger, did you play with toys geared towards the opposite sex? Sometimes. Have you ever wanted to kiss the same gender? Yes. Have you ever got excited by naked pictures of the same sex? Yes, every time. Every single time. No, I'm a Christian, sorry. Bisexual, I have been diagnosed with the bisexual again. Your results indicate you're bi my bisexual. Is your girlfriend secretly gay? Oh my God, moment of truth here. Who would she rather be out with? Me, duh. What is her idea of a perfect date? Chilling at the house, relaxing. A warming massage, alone at the house. Sex all night long. Has she ever shouted out someone else's name during an orgasm? IDK, we haven't had sex yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a multi-sex name though. Not that I can think of. What does her name start with? A through H, I through Q, or R through Z? Oh, it's in the I through Q range. She's straighter than straight, oh thank god. Are you a lesbian slash gay? What do you like for breakfast? Toast, cereal, porridge, or pancakes? Well, there's only, there's only, there's only one answer. There's only one answer to this question. That'll be the porridge, thank you. When you're in the changing rooms getting changed, do you take a little peep? No, OMG, what do you take me for? How do you like your eggs? Scrambled, fried, poached, none of the above. I like a fried egg. What are your hobbies? Sports, sleeping, shopping, fishing. Mmm, sleeping. What's your favorite catchphrase? Definitely your gay. What is your favorite color? Blue, yellow, pink, gray. Wow, these are literally all of the worst colors. Literally the... Could you have picked colors that I dislike more? Let's go with gray. <gasps> Me? Are you a lesbian, straight, or bisexual? Four girls only. You see a hot girl sitting across that bar from you? Or as Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway would say, you see a hot girl sitting a pentagram that bar from you. <laughs> and she comes by you and flirts with you. What do you do? Flirt back, get to know her, and maybe we can get a guy to come back with us to my place. Flirt back, and maybe we can go back to my place. Ew, what do you think I am, a lesbian? Are you bisexual? Yes. No, they are freaks. Girls should like boys. No, bisexuals are just confused with life. They will figure out one day that they are lesbian like me. Oh my god. Mm. So my only option here is to be bisexual or to be biphobic. Thanks. Um, in that case, yes, I'm bisexual. Are you a lesbian? Half lesbian, half straight. I ain't full lesbian, though. Hell no. Yes. Yes, I'm also a lesbian. Are you straight? Half straight and half lesbian. I ain't completely straight. No. Boys slash men scare me. Yes, there isn't another way anyone else should be. Um, no, I'm not straight. And also, I'm apparently afraid of men. 
you see a hot boy sitting across that bar from you and she comes by you and flirts with you. What do you do? This hot boy in this situation uses she, her pronouns. Okay, just, just making sure. Um, ew, what do you think I am? A straight flirt back and maybe we can go back to my place. Ew, what do you think I am? A straight? Um, well, looks like a lesbian. You are normal just like straight or bisexuals and there is no problem with that. So be proud of your sexuality. Ugly smiley face. Are you gay or straight? What are stilettos? I don't think I spelled that right. Oh well. Yeah, I don't think you did either. Yes, I know that they're a shoe. That's cool. That's crazy. What is the lip shade red? Trampy! <laughs> Yamalicious lipstick, I think. It's lipstick my girlfriend slash boyfriend wears all the time. What? Okay, let's start. What is the lip shade red? Trampy? Yamalicious lipstick, I think. <laughs> or lipstick my girlfriend slash boyfriend wears. It's Yamalicious. What color do you prefer? on girls' nails who have a light skin tone, light colored lipstick slash eyeshadow slash little blush. I have to pick their nail color? Why, why, would I, why would I know that? What do most girls look for in a guy? Looks, um, IDK, <laughs> respect, looks, personality, and humor. Well, my girlfriend likes me the way I am, so however I act, I think. That's, that's the one, that's the answer. I'm straight, oh my God. You answered zero out of four questions correctly. You're straight, that's great. You hardly knew anything about girl stuff, good job. Oh, this quiz was for, this quiz was for boys only. You gotta put boys only in the title or else I'm gonna take the quiz and then you're gonna tell me I'm straight. But the quiz, the quiz doesn't work on me. How gay are you or aren't you? Where do you carry your money? Um, my pocket in my chain attached wallet. My man bag, you fool. <laughs> What is your favorite color out of these? It is black, thank you. What would you wear out of these choices? Sweatpants and a white t-shirt, baggy jeans and a funny t-shirt, nice jeans and button down shirt, a suit. Nice jeans and button down shirt. Out of these, what do you enjoy doing the most? Playing video games, shopping, talking slash hanging out with your friends that are girls. Talking slash hanging out with your friends that are guys. Um, I'm gonna choose the girls. What kind of music do you enjoy most? Techno of any kind, whatever is new, classical, alternative. I'll take alternative, thank you. <gasps> How dare you? How gay are you? Question one, how do you feel about the F slur? That word makes me so mad, ick. OMG, how could you even say that? I mean, I guess it makes me mad. You shouldn't say it but it doesn't personally offend me. Yeah, that's the one. Well, okay, there's something to be said for queer people reclaiming those words. Um, I personally do not reclaim that word, but people are increasingly doing it for reasons that are very logical, corporate sanitized pride and all of that. So like people are getting even more and more into reclaiming slurs now because it's like something you can't sanitize. So yeah, I think if gay people find it empowering for that reason and want to say it, go for it. But I don't think personally because no one's ever like directed the F slur at me. Like I don't feel like I can reclaim, you know, like I'll say queer, I'll say dyke, I'll say like, you know, other things that do apply better to me. Anyway, unexpectedly serious tangent. <laughs> Back to the quote have quiz. What is your favorite color from this list? I will choose red. Do you shave? Of course, honey. Duh, sometimes, OMG, every day. Can I say no? <laughs> Um, sure, let's go with sometimes. Did you like the quiz? How do you feel about the F slur and do you, sh do you shave? <laughs> this is, um, the worst quiz. <laughs> this is the worst quiz. How gay am I though? Gay. Yeah, you're not wrong. But what if I want a more specific answer than that? What if I want to know how many percent are you gay? Question one, are you gay? No, absolutely not. Most of your friends are boys, gays, girls, I don't know. <laughs> Most of my friends are gays. What kind of person are you going to marry? Boy, girl, gay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think a gay. If you are 100% gay in this quiz, what will you say? I'll say fuck. For the last time, are you gay? No! I'm one, I answered five out of five questions correctly and I am gay. Are you really gay? 
girls only. When you party with your friends, I bring my friends to scope girls we wish we were like and hate them. Oh, that sounds like a very toxic way to spend your time. Go have fun and what happens happens. I go with my girls and hope to hook up. <laughs> Quiz written by aliens. I go with my friends to look for some hot guys. I go have fun and what happens happens happens. How many girls have you kissed? Um, none. Obviously, I'm a straight heterosexual Christian woman. It's most likely for you to walk in the mall and check out the girls or the guys. Only if the girl is smoking hot, I will. But mostly guys. Um, both. Hell no. Only guys for me. Girls catch my eyes because most of them are in slutty outfits. <laughs> Do you dress nice? If I'm going out, then yeah. Other times, I like to be comfy. Don't worry, you're only bi. Oh, thank you. Are you a lesbian? Would you ever kiss a girl? I don't know, maybe. Have you ever had a naughty thought about a girl? All the time, no. Once or twice, once or twice. I just like saying that. Have you ever checked out a female friend? Once or twice. Do you ever get excited about the sight of a naked woman? Oh, you know it, baby. I've got a little tingle before. Yeah, I have. No, that's just gross. It's, it's disgust, disgusting. Where are you thinking about a girl while taking this test? I was thinking about my, my girlfriend. You might be, I might be bi. I might, be, I might be bisexual. Are you homophobic? While strolling through the park, you see two guys slash girls sitting on a park bench making out. What do you do? Okay, we're doing one of those role play quizzes. Yell out at them, hey, F slurs, go burn in hell. And then go and beat them up. Thank God won't like to see that. Bless their soul. Okay, maybe they shouldn't be doing that out in public, but they look so happy. Oh, I wish I could find love like that. Um, let's maybe, maybe not in public, my dude. Hi, dur, I love kitty cats. OMG, so random. I have 50 <laughs> freaking lesbian. I love kitties. I'ma go and get mine. We'd be such good friends. <laughs> okay, that's not so normal, but I like cats too. Oh, I bet it's because they're like stray or something. That's nice. Or you're just into cats. And it's kind of weird though. You got 50 cats, freaking lesbian. Your best friend just told you that he slash she is gay slash bi slash trans slash pan and is afraid to come out of the closet. How would you react? Oh, well, you know, it's against our religion and that you are disobeying God's word and is most likely gonna go to hell for that. But since you're my best friend, I'll try and help you out. Let's pray and ask God to forgive you for being a sinner. And then we'll go and talk to the pastor of the church, okay? Holy tits, we're closer than I expected. Now there's nothing to hide. I am so into LGBT stuff. Yeah, that would be a red flag if that was someone's answer. I'm gonna say I'm just, I'm so into LGBT stuff. I'm completely a homophobic douche. No offense, no, no offense taken quiz writer. Um, okay, dude, you are so against gays, bisexuals, pansexuals, basically everything that isn't hetero. You need to open up and relax. Love is a feeling, not a gender. Don't hate on people because they're different from you. If you have such a problem with gays, I advise you to just leave them alone and avoid them. They are human too, just like you. Hee <laughs> hee, that rhymed. So they have feelings. Don't be a jerk. Whoa, you heard it here first. Gay people have feelings. This one is create your gay girlfriend. Hi, so glad you decided to take my quiz. First question, would you please do me the honor of describing yourself? I am smart and hardworking. I am beautiful and social. Hi, 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 I am fun and sort of crazy. I'm kind and happy. I am tough and independent. I'm already tired of your attitude. <laughs> That's the one. Um, describe the kind of girl you like. Red hair, brown eyes, freckles. Blonde hair, blue eyes, glasses. Blonde hair, gray eyes, super hot. Black hair, brown eyes. Brown hair, green eyes, always smiling. Brown hair, brown eyes, street clothes. Um, does she have personality traits? Let's say... Black hair, brown eyes, I'm going for an emo girlfriend. Let us say you are in love with a girl and you see someone else flirting with her. What do you do? I would be surprised and butt in without making a scene. Kill the bitch slash bastard who dare come near my girl. Let it be, it's nothing to be done if she likes that person. I know she likes getting attention so I will not bother her about it. Get one of my girlfriends to distract the guy slash girl. Pretend like I do not care. I am going to be very stoic and pretend I do not care. 
Now, who would likely confess first? Well, my image is pretty important, so it would have to be her. Me, she is too shy to confess. No, I could not. It is better just to keep quiet. Oh, I would probably. I am sort of airheaded, so I would probably just blurt it out without realizing. Love is disgusting. <laughs> love is just, love is disgusting, repulsive. Uh, one word that describes her. Too bright, kind, hot, intimidating, funny, cute. Intimidating. Give me a scary goth girlfriend. What do you do on your free time? Skate. Pick fights. Hang out with friends. Be with friends. In the sun. Stay inside. Away from all of the people that annoy me. Shop. Hang out with my friends. Do my nails. Read. Play chess. Write. Have fun. Be in nature. Ooh, and draw pictures of rainbows. Are you tall or short? I'm tall. Are you physically strong? No. Never work out. What is a bad trait you can live with? Being possessive, being dark, being dark. Give me the scary goth girlfriend. Okay, back to role playing. <laughs> what would you do if you saw your girlfriend being sad? Comfort her the best I could. Take her out shopping. Kiss her. Then spread rumors about the one who hurt her. Oh, snake behavior. Kill anyone that hurt her. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna murder. Murder is always step one. The perfect first date. A picnic in a flower field. A dinner somewhere where we won't be disturbed. Skateboard park where I teach her to ride. Staying at home, the movies, shopping, and enjoying time in a cafe. Let's say shopping and enjoying time in a cafe. And a name for your daughter. Oh my goodness. The, this we have escalated quickly. I think Vivian is the coolest name on this list, so let's go with that one. And son. Oh my god. Stan. <laughs> Stan, Rainbow Jack, William, Simon, or Fortius. <laughs> What the fuck is Fortius? I'm naming my son that immediately. And that is that. Now, just give me your favorite color. Black. Oh my god! This is not my goth girlfriend. Her name is Felicity Mayer. Her full name is Felicity Veronica Mayer. Her age is 17. That, that's a problem. Okay, alternate universe where I'm also 17, I suppose. Her personality is happy, silly, absent-minded, kind, making you smile. She loves... Italy. Just Italy. Oh no, she lives. She lives in Italy. <laughs> she just likes Italy. She lives in Italy. Um, she likes having fun, rainbows, music, and dislikes nothing. Great. She sounds horrible. Here's another create a girlfriend one. Okay, we need to do another one. We need to get an edgy goth girlfriend, please. I'll even take emo. Oh, this is a popular quiz. This is over 20,000 takers. Oh my God. Okay, better be a good one. Choose an animal, the humble bingus. What sort of personality are you looking for in your girl? Funny, lovable, beautiful, someone who can make me laugh when I'm sad or upset. Someone who would want to get in trouble with me and we'd have a lot of fun. Carefree, random, open-minded, bubbly, clever. Will take my hand and make me dance. Love. Just love. Let's go with careless, crazy rebel. Where would you want to go on your first date with your girl? The zoo, the movies, the bedroom. A amazing amusement park. Um, a amazing amusement park. What type of style do you want your girl to have? A band t-shirt, tight black ripped skinny jeans, leather jacket, combat boots, fluffy teased hair or curled. Definitely that one. Oh my God, I got Maggie Robertson. Robertson, not Robertson, Robertson. She is from Floraid. Hobbies slash likes, pizza. Hot chocolate. Piums. <laughs> oh, I said the thing that sent me over the edge. Your first date. <laughs> A amazing amusement park. Oh my god, no way. Favorite color. Green. Personality. Careless rebel. Weird crazy. Someone you would want to get in trouble with me and have a lot of fun. Style. Newest fashion trend. Ankle high boots. Jewelry. Fishtailed braided hair. That's enough quotev for my brain. It's enough 2009 for my brain. Some of, some of these quizzes were very old. I think the oldest ones I found were from 2008. So like all of those were some, from somewhere between like 2008 to 2013. You can definitely tell the oldest ones from um, how many slurs they contained. So that's interesting. So thank you for joining me on this odd little rabbit hole. Um, if you are around my age, thank you for joining me in this hell portal to middle school. Good night, my children. I will see you again soon.